and him and his daughter, and he missed their plane flight. And so when he leaves that airport, he says, oh, I'm earmarked as a domestic terrorist. I'm going to go down to, to uh, uh, the local gun store and see if I can buy a, a gun, see if I'm listed there. And sure enough, they would not uh, sell him a, a gun. He was in the, he was, he's been earmarked in that list, on that blacklist. And so if they did that to one of my sons, evidently they could be doing that to all of us. And all of us have stood against them for sure. Continue going down the line then. What do you think of this major political realignment? Do you think that's a repudiation of these type of activities by Harry Reid? He's one of the most unpopular people out there. Well, political realignment don't mean anything to me. You know what means something to me is when our... Uh, United States congressmen uh, realize, and our president of the United States, and our Supreme Court realize that they, they only have limited power over certain things here in America. Now, when they get back there and take care of their business back in Washington, D.C., and they, they make legislation over those things that they're in charge of, that's just fine. But when they come out here in these sovereign states in America and start telling us what we're going to do and and how we're going to do it. And if we don't do it, they're going to bring an army against us. We're not going to put up with that. Not us people here in America. And those people have a place. But it's not here in these sovereign states. They have very little to do with these sovereign states. I'm not saying they don't have nothing. But their courts and their bureaucracies have nothing, very little to do in, in, in these sovereign states of America. Elaborate on that. Well, for example... This is a current event. They're coming back with retaliation uh, against uh, Bundy Rights right now and the people of Southern Nevada. What are they doing? They're putting more environmental uh, uh, restrictions on the land. It's called Areas of Critical Environmental Concern, or ACEC. They're basically making all of Southern Nevada uh, ACEC, and basically what's happened in the past on these environmental issues and, uh, and this public, so-called public land, they've said, we're going to give you and and what we're going to do is we're going to give you, you can go down the sidewalk, but you can't get off on the grass. And if you get off on the grass, we're going to find a four or $500. You know, that ruins the picnic. But this new, uh, uh, <laughs> this new regulation they're putting up over the land is taking away the sidewalks. So, no, in other words, don't go down the sidewalk. You can't go down the sidewalks without getting a $500 fine. So that's a new restriction they're putting over Bundy's Ranch and also all over the, the southern Clark County, Knight County, and Lincoln County, portions of them well, in sure. southern Nevada. Well, so sure, for those that don't know. Restriction, retaliation against we the people to standing up against the feds. Well, for those that don't know, Cliven, Congress had maps put together off the U.N. coordinates of areas that would be completely off human use. And guess what? You live in an area that they basically have completely out of human use, but then only the globalists are allowed to operate in those areas. This is how they make their land more valuable. They make all the other land unusable except the land they own. That's how they create artificial scarcity, and this is an Agenda 21 UN scam up one side and down the other. Now they're coming in with EPA rules, trying to ban people's children carrying the trash out or working on the farm. Proposed water rule could put property rights of every American entirely at the mercy of the EPA. The proposed rule has ignited a firestorm of protest. So they are coming out on every front. Uh, Obama says that China doesn't have to cut their carbon. We're going to cut ours and double the price. That means double the price of our energy. I mean, this is a strategy to shut us down. You said there were 30-plus families that came in on those wagon trains in the 1870s into your county, uh, you know, when your great-great-great-great-granddaddy was there. Uh, you're one of the last families. Aren't you the last? I, I am the last of the cattle rancher that actually uses this uh, 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 land. Yeah, well, you're the a bad person. Range. Listen, listen, if you were... listen. Listen, if you weighed 600 pounds and wore 6X underwear, you could get on a bus, come to the U.S., they'll load you on a bus, take you and put you on welfare. You can sit there and watch daytime soap operas and, and, and get up to 1,000 pounds. But the fact, that you, the fact that you produce food and are hardworking, aren't a criminal, that's why you got to be hunted down, Cliven.
Yep, I guess. But you know what? I want to talk to you about something that's happening. Uh, you know, there's a line drew. drew, drew. Uh, let's look at it as like a white line down the highway. And I want, I want your audience to, to shut their eyes and say, okay, I see a black road here with a white line. You know, we in America now have drawn a line. And you're either going to be on the constitutional, where we believe in the constitution of the United States, the supreme law of the land, or, and, and I'll add more to that, the inspired constitution, the supreme law of the land. And we're going, to, we're going to believe in sovereign states and state law and county governments and county sheriff having a, uh, a jurisdiction and authority of policing power and arresting power. And his job, we pay him to do that job, and his job is to protect our life, liberty, and property. And also it goes a little further. You know, we elect our judges at the county level. I hear you. Stay there. We need to make them stand up and do their job not become federal minions and the feds themselves have been captured by the globalists. That's how you conquer America. I want to talk about your son getting put on the no-fly list when we come back. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Protect your privacy and data and render your phone or device completely undetectable. Go under the radar when your phone's not in use with BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. News flash. Home invasions are on the rise. It takes less than 10 seconds to kick in a door. 10 seconds is not enough time to protect your family. And what would happen if you are not home? Easy Armor is the ultimate security solution. 85% of break-ins are through a door. Protect your home now with Easy Armor. Go to invasionstopper.com to get real security for under 70 bucks. That's invasionstopper.com. Easy Armor. Your security is our only business. American you are being lied to. Does your skin crawl when a politician or a stock market guru say that we are in the midst of an economic recovery? According to top insiders, the largest financial meltdown in history is coming. You can prepare, but if you're living paycheck to paycheck, how do you find the cash? If you're fortunate enough to have retirement savings, it's probably not enough. And if it's in the market, it could be wiped out just like the last crash. But this time, it will almost certainly be much worse. Precious metals are a great hedge, but they won't generate immediate cash flow to pay the bills. Learn the secret to creating cash flow and freedom. Get a free copy of my special report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 800-704-4117. That's 800-704-4117 or visit babyboomerbackupplan.com. Traditional retirement may not be in the cards, but re-inspirement can change everything. Babyboomerbackupplan.com. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bear, man. I breathe the mountain air, man. I travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa. You know who that is? Johnny Cash, bringing us in. Live and Monday, I really appreciate you spending time with us today. You're right, there's a line. You're either going to stand up for the Constitution, due process, and prosperity, or you're going to join with the globalist gang, people like Harry Reid that get up on television and say that, you know, that, 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 that you're a terrorist for not letting them completely run everybody off the land who've been there since 1877.
Now let's talk about your son and what they've been doing to him. This is an example for everybody. And if we give in to this intimidation, they'll end up taking over even more. Oh, you better not criticize the government. They won't let you fly. That's the whole reason we shouldn't have internal checkpoints. It isn't for t terrorism. It's for us. Just like the Patriot Act they now admits for the American people. It was always meant for that. Cliven Bundy. Yes, now, now let me uh, go back here. I, I want to wake your people up here. Uh, you know, they got their eyes shut looking down that white line on that black road. Uh, they better wake up and decide which side of the, the, that line they're on. And, uh, you know, I didn't finish. You know, I said that the sheriff has uh, the constitutional jurisdiction and authority. And we, the people, elect that sheriff, and we, the people, pay that sheriff. You know, one of the problems we have in America is we get, the federal government is paying our sheriff. No, that's not their duty to pay the, the sheriff. We, the people of the county, the elected that man, is the one that pays him. And then he has some respect and honor back to protect our life, liberty, and property. But if the feds is paying his wages and his expenses and his operation, who, who does he respect? That's a problem. That's not only a problem with the sheriff. That's a problem with our school districts and our county governments and our state governments and our health and welfare programs. We need to start paying the bill ourselves, not the federal government. But, but I want to show you, I want to look on the other side of this line. This other line, you expressed it pretty good. That is where we have a social government, where we have communist-type government, where we have all these big bureaucracies and we have all of this assumption of unlimited power through their policing power, and where, where, where those people that have contracts with the federal government are on that side of the line also. They're not on the constitutional side. They're on the, the big government side, the central government side. We have got to clean this America up, and each individual has got to decide which kind of life do we want to have, this free life with liberty and justice for all, or this other communist social... I agree with you. We're almost out of time, Cliven. Can you d d d update us on your son and, and the harassment when he flies? Yes, I can. Where we're at on that is... Uh, uh, of course, what he, well, he the re, refused to let him fly, re, refused to sell him a gun, and then, of course, the, what's happening is the feds are uh, coming, uh, running backwards on this now. They're saying, hey, Mr. Bundy, you can fly, you can buy a gun. But you know what that is for America? That's a win. We are winning this battle. There's another win also just happening yesterday and today, and that's on this ACEC. You know what? They had a hearing yesterday, uh, a public comment hearing on these ACECs in Las Vegas, Nevada. There was a group of people met there, the off-roaders, the picnickers, the campers. Uh, I had a representative there representing livestock. And guess what they did? They controlled the, the people where they wasn't able to talk or express their feelings. Well, they have another meeting in Trump, uh, Nevada, which is another about 50, 60 miles uh, northwest of Las Vegas. And guess what? They canceled that meeting today. Why? Hold on. I want to do five are more. organizing herself, and people are not going to stand up for the federal government just running over and managing uh, sure. their land anymore. We're, those people are ready to be sovereign citizens of the state of Nevada. Clavin, I'm almost out of time here. we got to go to break. Do five more minutes with me in overdrive so you can finish your point on this. I want to specifically talk about these meetings that are happening with people getting riled up straight ahead. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must 
must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must-have for every modern, independently-minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139.